Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Blake McMahon. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. To all, to all the seniors this year's graduation will take place in the Golden One Center on May 29th at 11 a.m. Be sure to buy your cap and gown before then. Prices will go up February 1st. Check your Synergy email for your options and purchasing forms. Tomorrow, Thursday at 6 p.m. is back to school night. Make sure to bring your parents so they can meet your teachers and ask any questions they may have. Hope to see you there, Wolfpack. Now let's head on over to De Devin and Dejan for sports. What's popping, Wolfpack? I'm Dejan Sevilla. And I'm Devin Steffen. And, and this, this is, is your weekly sports update. update. To start things off, I'd like to speak about our CO Sports. Our football team unfortunately lost their last game against Sheldon, but we do have our pink out game this Friday at home, so make sure to wear pink Wolfpack. On the topic of football, our girls flag football team went against Franklin on Tuesday, also unfortunately losing, but keeping them second in Delta League. They also go against Elk Grove tomorrow, so good, good luck, luck ladies. ladies. Transitioning over to volleyball, in similar fashion, our girls lost to Franklin, but have a redemption against Elk Grove. Hopefully y'all run all over, all over them. Speaking of running, our cross-country team has their Chico Invitational at Hooker Oak Park this Saturday. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, team. Bouncing over to tennis, yesterday, our girls' tennis team had a dominant game over Elk Grove, winning 9-0, putting us at an amazing record of 8-1. That's great, team. Now, on to the NFL Week 6 standings. In the N NFC, the Minnesota Vikings are currently in the lead with an impressive record of 5-0 being the only undefeated team in the NFC. On the flip side, the undefeated team on the AFC is, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs. Both teams this season are looking like a force to be reckoned with. With perfect record and a lack of major injuries, it's looking good for them. Well, well that's all from, all from us. us. He's Devin Steffen. And he's Dejan Sevilla. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. Fall Fest this year will take place on October 30th from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the quad. If you want your club to participate, make sure you fill out the Google form, which can be found in your Synergy email. The form closes Friday, October 18th, and will be first come, first serve, so make sure to submit them as soon as possible. Now let's go see what's new in entertainment. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Joseph Jefferson. And I'm Mayhem Dumont, and we're here with your entertainment update. The PS5 Pro is finally ready for pre-order pre for about $700 for its 30th anniversary. In addition to a slightly new design, it has 67% more compute units, 45% faster gameplay, and the memory is 28% faster. Go and pre-order it now, guys. Moving on to more disappointing news, Bandai Namco, the company behind several popular games and other fan franchise releases, such as the recent release of the Dragon Ball's game Sparking Zero, has reportedly cut jobs and canceled several titles. Around 200 Bandai Namco workers have been put into expulsion rooms to quote-unquote punish them and help them understand their lack of productivity. People are saying that it's unjust, however, they aren't breaking any labor laws. Well. That's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm May. And I'm Joseph. And let's, let's head, head back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. I'm interested to see how this all plays out. Me too. Well, that's all for today, Wolfpack. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm Blake McMahon. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Department Store Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.